Good morning, I'm Norman Patterson, the Yellow Jacket Expert. I'm down in Milford, Connecticut. Today is September 15th, 2023. And I wanna give a quick demo demonstration of what's going on with Yellow Jacket nests. Um, at this time of year, they're getting ready for the winter. And the way they, they get ready for the winter is the queen that started the nest, the mated queen from last year that started the nest, um, she starts to lay drone eggs, male eggs, and queen eggs for next year. And what happens is the queens that she is laying now, the eggs, when they hatch, the, they will mate, and then these brand new mated queens will hibernate for the winter. And then next spring, uh, around Mother's Day, Memorial Day here in Connecticut, and other places, um, these mated queens will wake up. They're gonna look for uh, spaces, wall voids, or holes in the ground, and they each individual queen will start a brand new nest, and that will turn into the monsters that we're seeing at this time of year. And that's how the life cycle works. So give me a moment, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a uh, Eastern yellow jacket nest, a macula fronds nest that I just pulled out of the ground and show you some of the eggs so that you can see what's going on in these nests. So I just pulled this Eastern yellow jacket nest out of the ground and uh, paper bags so they can breathe. Let me show you what's going on. These are all queen cells. Um, they're bigger than the worker cells, which are more in the middle there. And you can see some of the drones on this nest. The drones have long antenna. That's how you know. I always look at them like they got uh, handlebar mustaches. Let's see. Here's a worker. There's a, this, this is a worker right here. Let's see if I can... That's a worker right there. And this is a drone right here. If you notice, it has much longer antennae. Here's a drone. Oh, he just hit away. So you can see on the pattern of this brood here, we have queen cells and male cells that are forming, or have already formed. I mean, this queen has already been laying males, um, the drones. And the rest of the nest, let me see if I can take it apart. It's emptying out. You could see that the, the worker eggs. Yeah, oh, there's the queen. Long live the queen. There she is. Do you see her? That's the queen of this whole nest. She started this right around Memorial Day, Mother's Day, and um, got this whole thing rocking all by herself. And she's laying the, the queen eggs, which is these, for next year. And um, so all yellow jacket nests will die for the winter. They do not come back. I mean, if they do, it's just, um, you know, fate, providence, or chance, depending on how you look at life. But, um, yeah, th there she is. So she's going to die. She's a mated queen. She's going to die. And, you know, she knows to start laying female eggs at the beginning of the year. And then she starts laying drone eggs, which I believe these are drone eggs here, at, the, um, at this time of year beginning of September and then she'll start laying queen eggs which those you could see how many there are there's there's a ton of queen eggs in this nest but all you know here's there's, there's still some worker larvae there um, just a little bit some are still hatching but not much the darker ones are are ripe and they're gonna hatch any time now but for the most part they're emptying out so that this nest just like all the other nests are um, finishing up yeah there's much more na males drones than um than there were a couple weeks ago i didn't see any drones but now we are seeing tons of drones yeah there's one defending her nest and there again there's the queen so that's the life cycle of uh most yellow jacket nests uh that's true of the german germanica flava pelosa vidua um, white-faced hornets, which are really actually a form of yellow jacket wasps, uh, Aaron area, and hopefully that will help you understand a little bit more of what's happening in a yellow jacket nest at this time of year. So don't let any 
exterminate or try to lie to you and tell you you have a yellow jacket nest and the thing's going to keep coming back and you need to get um, you know super poison organic <laughs> organic pesticides uh yeah uh to uh you know a contract and all that you don't need to just you know if you can't do if you can't do anything about it then let it die and it's going to die and not come back so there you go if you need help in connecticut um you could call 860-379-6078 or you could go to my website at www.theyellowjacketexpert.com and uh you know if you want a consultation i charge like 50 bucks and i'll walk you through anything answer all your questions and um you know and if you don't think that what i gave you was uh valuable information everybody has then don't pay me um but i will give you the information that you need to make an informed decision for your yellow jacket nest.